To fully maximize the resolution of your images in Leonardo AI, you first have to consider the resolution of the image you're creating. So I've got Dream Shaper version 7, I've got Prompt Magic turned on, but that's just the basic default settings at 1024 by 1024. If I generate my image at that size, this is what the image looks like. And it is exactly 1024 by 1024. So you might be thinking, this seems to be the biggest size, but we can also upscale down here up to 1536 by 1536. But what happens to the image when we do that? Some of the features can start to get a little bit funny. Now, this may not be the case every single time, so I do recommend trying to actually increase that resolution, but because the models are trained on much smaller resolutions, when you increase that resolution, it can run into issues. But there are, there are other models we can try. For example, if I go down to Stable Diffusion XL 0.9, and I try the same thing again, the Stable Diffusion XL version actually produced a pretty coherent image. That doesn't mean it's gonna work every single time, but if I, this is using the Leonardo style of Stable Diffusion XL09, this is without. But you can see how detailed these images are, and they're at that higher resolution of 1536 by 1536. And of course we do have upscalers, but before we get onto that, we also have the option, if we switch back to say Dream Shaper 7, turning on Alchemy, and I can then choose something like, I can crank these up to full again, but I'm gonna take it down to 1024 by 1024, and just for a bit of fun, Prompt Magic version 3 so we get a more exciting looking image. But I'll leave high resolution turned off. I'm going to hit generate to show you what we get then. Despite using 1024 by 1024, the image is actually 1536 by 1536 pixels. So this means if we can actually get access to Alchemy with a premium account or a free trial, we can produce high resolution artwork. So that means if I'm able to crank this up to full or even choose high resolution. Let's crank it up to full. So 1536 by 1536, and you can see the final resolution will be 2304 by 2304. So let's try that one again. Now our image is 2304 by 2304. And while we have no, we do have the beginnings, some weird artifacts, that second mouth is starting to form. So going to that max resolution with alchemy can also produce issues, which I've noticed previously as well. But taking all of this, high resolution can only be used for images with a width of 1024 or below. So if I change this back to 1024 by 1024, turn on high resolution, it is experimental. I'm gonna leave it on. And again, we do sometimes get unwanted results, but in this instance, it's worked out really well. And this image is 2048 by 2048. So that's a pretty decent sized image and about the largest we can get with Leonardo. However, I do have the option to extend it a little bit. I can unzoom this image, and this is our original, this is our unzoomed. Now the unzoom hasn't added anything we can really use, so it wasn't really worth the effort, so sometimes you do get some mistakes there. So ultimately, before you upscale your images, you wanna try and crank up that resolution as high as you can, but you will have to possibly dial it back if you start getting unwanted results. Try a few images at that highest resolution, and if you're not getting it, dial it back until you can get something that is better. But I'm gonna show you what you can do. We're gonna upscale this image, this original image here, because we wanna see which upscaler actually does the best job at maximizing the resolution. If we go down here, we have the Creative Upscale, the Alchemy Smooth, and the Alchemy Crisp. We're gonna use all three of these and compare. This is our original image. Once again, we've maxed out that resolution as much as we could. It's 2048 by 2048 pixels. So if I zoom in, things are pretty sharp, but we want sharper if we wanna start printing this or using it in a high resolution environment. This is our smooth upscale, and this resolution is 3072 by 3072. If I zoom into 100%, it's done a really good job of keeping some detail in there. It's kept the image nice and smooth and it's done a great job. It's a very reasonably high resolution image. This is the crisp upscale, which you can see also looks pretty good. It is also 3072 by 3072. And I zoom in at 100% and it's actually not as smooth. Some areas are, some edges are a little bit rough as it's tried to retain maybe a little bit too much detail, but I actually think the crisp is the best one to use if you're gonna take the next step to upscale your images. Now this is the creative upscale, which is 4096 by 4096 pixels. Whilst it has the higher resolution, the actual details are not as well kept. You can see it's just not quite as sharp in some areas, but it has done a pretty good job. And for most people, this would be pretty good. But let's actually zoom in and compare these in the exact same position. 
Now I'm in Photoshop and this is our original image and we're still a bit far away to really see the detail. But let's zoom right in around the eye. As you can see, that it's kind of pixelated here. I turn that off and we go to our crisp up scale. The detail is a little bit better. This is the original, this is the crisp. This is a smooth and I still think the smooth is the best when you're just working straight up. And the creative, that's basically the creative has carried a lot of that over. If I head down to the beard though there, the creative is a little bit wispy. The smooth I think is a bit better. The crisp has held a lot more detail in there. But in this instance, for this particular image, I've found that the creative seems to be the best. However, the others I have found on odd occasion, the creative does do a poorer job than the others when it comes to expanding detail. So keep that in mind when actually using Leonardo AI's upscalers. But what if you need an even bigger image? What if you want to really take this thing to the next level? So I've gone into Topaz Gigapixel here, and this is at 50%, not 100% resolution. This is our creative upscale, which is the largest upscale we have. And what Topaz Gigapixel does is introduces details into certain areas of the image. You can see here on the right and on the on the left, if I bring that up to 100%. You can see how Topaz has kind of created a little bit of a skin texture on this side, which is actually just pixelated. So taking your images a step further is great. Now, taking this image, the creative upscale, which is 4096, and increasing it by six takes it to 24,000 by 24,000 pixels. However, anything over about 20,000 pixels with Topaz is generally not recommended. If I go back to the crisp up scale, this image will be 18,000 pixels by 18,000 pixels. And you can see the nose, we've got some skin detail here where it's just kind of pixelated. I go to the eye, it's added detail around the reflection of the eye, including some of the eyelashes here. And overall, has done a great job of taking this image to the next level. And even the original image, if you don't upscale, maybe you run out of credits on Leonardo AI, this is a 12,000 by 12,000 pixel image, and it does a really great job of adding in those details. I zoom into 100%, and you can see what I'm talking about. So this is the original generated image using the standard model it does a great job of adding detail in there. But what about some of the other images that were produced at a lower resolution? We've got our very first image here, which was, I believe, 1024 by 1024. I'm gonna download that image. And now this image is 6,000 by 6,000 pixels, which is still pretty good. And you can see how well it's worked with that detail when you close in on the eye. Even some of the hair, it's added little hairs to the beard, which were kind of just pixelated before. And the texture on the lips is all there, which isn't there before as well. So it can be a great, a great way to upscale images that aren't... When you say run out of points on Leonardo AI or something, this is actually a really good tool for getting even larger images. So let's upscale the whole lot. And again, we'll compare them in Photoshop. This is the smooth upscale enlarged by six with Topaz Gigapixel. And it's 18,432 pixels by 18,432 pixels. And if I zoom right in, you can see the detail just seems to keep going because it's such a high res image. It's, uh, it's very, very impressive what we're able to do. But one thing I noticed, particularly in the eyelashes, if I switch to the crisp up scale, there's almost like there was too much information in there and it made a bit of a mess of it. So my previous uh, sort of thought of using crisp is actually not always the best and still best to actually check. But when I go to the creative up scale, it ha couldn't be enlarged by six times. So the resolution isn't any better. But uh, it's actually, in my opinion, not quite as good as just enlarging that smooth upscale. You can see it's very much the same, but the smooth upscale, I think, is... So this is the smooth. This is the creative. The creative has a slight bit more detail in this instance, but I still think smooth is the best. One thing I also did was I simply upscaled the original image. So it's actually only 12,000 by 12,000, roughly. But I find it looks just as good as upscaling one of the more increased upscales. So even if I switch between the original upscale to 12,000, you can see there's more detail, but it's still not really much of a difference. So I really don't think there's really much point. If you have something like Topaz Gigapixel, I probably wouldn't even consider putting too much effort into upscaling in Leonardo AI if you can actually get a decent upscale from the original image. Which brings me back to our other image. Now this, this is one of our other images that was made at only 1024 by 1024. It was upscaled to a bit over 6,000 pixels. And if you zoom in, it has a pretty done a pretty good job with that at 6,000 by 6,000. But I also tested just upscaling the upscale 
and we've got a slightly sharper image again. This image is 18,000 by 18,000 because I couldn't go over 20,000, so I just upscaled by three. And if I go to 100%, it's done a pretty good job at that detail. It's not probably as good as if we were able to do a full AI upscale to that size, but in all fairness, it does a really good job at upscaling something you've already upscaled. So you're not just confined by that original upscale, you can also upscale and upscale uh, no more than about 20,000 pixels wide by 20,000 pixels, but you sort of get the idea. So that is a way to get even more resolution out of your images with Leonardo AI is by taking it into something like Topaz Gigapixel or another AI upscaler. I use Topaz because I believe it is the best. I've tested a bunch of them and uh, can be a great way to get a little bit more resolution out of your images. Perfect for print, especially if you're going to be doing large posters or that kind of thing. So I hope you found that video information. If you want to check out Leonardo, Leonardo AI or Topaz Gigapixel, there are links in the description below. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please consider giving it a like and I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.